This episode is sponsored in part by Lucky Duck Games. Check out all their games like Chronicles of Crime 1400, Kingdom Rush, Rift in Time, and their new brand, Lucky Duck Kids, at luckyduckgames.com. Thank you for joining me here at Tantrum Mouse Studio D. I'm Kevin Delp. Today we'll be looking at board games launching the first half of April on crowdfunding platforms. That'll be mainly Kickstarter, but if there's any ones outside of Kickstarter, I'll mention those during the video. <laughs> These first few launch on April 1st. Race to Insanity is for 2 to 10 players. Takes about 15 minutes to play. This is a party game where players will be doing challenges from a deck of cards. Planet Fulcrum is for 1 to 4 players. Takes about 45 to 90 minutes to play. Your actions dictate allegiance in a race for territory, power, and glory. And launching on Indiegogo, the Art of War card game. Destroy your enemies and reinforce the power of your empire. Invincible Games launches Scrumpy Card Cider on April 4th. This is a game for 1-4 to four players, takes about 40-80 to 80 minutes to play. This is a deck manipulation game of cider production and sales. Players race to produce the most money from their exploits using cards to gain apples and wood, efficiently converting their raw materials into cider and barrels. Develop their cidery to improve their manufacturing process and all the time ensuring they don't overstockpile and lose actions they need. These next few launch on April 5th. Arvis Games launches Board Royale The Island. For 2-6 to six players, it takes about 30-60 to 60 minutes to play. This is a turn-based survival card game. To survive, you'll have to be sneaky and a ruthless backstabber. Beware, this game can be a friendship breaker. The goal of the game is to survive by any means necessary. If a player runs out of resources, they are instantly eliminated from the game. The last man standing on the island or the first to escape by collecting 10 escape points wins the game. Game Brewer launches Hippocrates for 1-4 to four players, takes about 90-120 to 120 minutes to play. Hippocrates' disciples save patience in ancient Greece to fulfill his legacy. The game lasts 4 rounds, with each round divided into 5 phases. And I believe Level 99 Games is doing a reprint of Empyreal Spells and Steam. This is for 2 to 6 players, takes about 30 to 75 minutes to play. On April 6th, Queen Games launches Scrap Racer, a game for 2 to 6 players, takes about 20 to 45 minutes to play. This is a push your luck dice game. You're a daredevil scrap racer who knows only one goal to win the race. A race lasts 3 laps, rolling dice and gaining boost markers along the way. Players have asymmetrical powers and they're fighting for track position. These next few launch on April 7th, Arena Colossal. This is for 1-6 to six players, takes about 30 minutes to play. This is a miniatures game set in ancient Rome. I believe Boogeyman is launching this day as well, but I heard it might even launch earlier. Maybe March 30th. And Hexplort, the domain of Mirza Noctis. The sun is setting in the land of Cross Vitalia. Build heroes, power them up, and stop the enemy. I believe we'll see a relaunch of Space Plague on April 8th. Creature tokens are moving around the board to conquer a planet. Koi Garden is coming April 9th. This is for 2 to 4 players. Takes about 20 to 30 minutes to play. Creating a flourishing koi pond in this tile laying card game. These next few launch on April 13th. Connecting Flights from Bazite Games. For 1 to 5 players, takes about 90 to 150 minutes to play. Players take a role of airline managers who compete for passengers and resources required to fly them to desired destinations. Players make money for each transported passenger, with the player making the most money in the last round being the winner. There's also a co-op mode for 1-2 to two players where you're working together to fly passengers to their desired destinations. Genius Games launches Cellulose, a plant cell biology game for 1-5 to five players, takes about 45-90 to 90 minutes to play. This is a worker placement engine building game. Bar Fight the Card Game for 2-6 to six players takes about 15-30 to 30 minutes to play. You represent a bar competing in the world's most prestigious bartending competition. Each bar has its own unique bonus ability and signature and classic cocktails that can boost your score. Each round you'll make a drink by combining spirit, mixer, and flare cards in order to impress the specific judge for the round. The highest scoring drink of the round wins that round's judge card, 
worth a number of prize ribbons, and the first player to get enough ribbons wins the title of Bar Fight Champion. Forbidden Games launches Mosaic, a story of civilization. This is a card drafting, engine building civilization game for two to six players. It takes about 90 to 120 minutes to play. And Ramstar Games launches Hibernation, which is a two to four player game that lasts 10 to 30 minutes. Drones versus workers, who will dominate the hive? Coming soon from Simon and Spinmaster Games is an expansion to Marvel United, the X-Men expansion. And Steamforge Games is launching Monster Hunter World the board game soon. Not exactly sure of the date yet. This is for one to four players, inspired by the hit video game series. Hunters work together to defeat the mighty monsters. Well, Tantrum House will be doing some videos for some of these games, like Cellulose from Genius Games, and we showed off Scrap Eraser. Actually, let me go get it real quick. I'll be right back. Here it is, Scrap Racer from Queen Games. This is a prototype. Uh, we showed this off in our last Saturday morning board game show, but we're gonna show it off and highlight it again on our next Saturday morning board game show, which will be April 3rd, 11 a.m. Eastern time. It'll be a live show. If you've never seen that before, I'd highly recommend you uh, watch that show. It's a, uh, we show off lots of games in just a short period of time. So join us April 3rd at 11 a.m. Eastern time. Well, Thank you for watching this video. Let me know in the comments if any of these board games that are coming to Kickstarter or other crowdfunding platforms are interest to you. And we'll check you out next time.